Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to look at how to play fast counter top spins close to the table. We're going to look at forehand counter top spin and backhand counter top spin. These are advanced shots, but they are really effective and satisfying when you're able to do them. The tips in this video come from Stephen Gertson. Stephen is a fantastic coach with loads of experience of coaching at an international level and Stephen's going to explain how to play these counter top spins close to the table. Okay, so let's hear from Stephen. If you need any table tennis equipment, then go to Brybar Table Tennis. They sell a huge range of table tennis equipment, including the Impact Premium Training Ball, which I use in my training sessions and also when I'm training with my robot. Go to brybartt.co.uk. Craig's going to serve half long. Paul's going to spin to the forehand, and then Craig's going to count the spin. Good. 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 There's a couple of good things that's happening there, right? Paul is picking up the ball really nicely here. Obviously, it, Craig's got a little bit of advantage because he knows where it's coming, but Craig is making that look pretty easy considering it's a really difficult stroke. If you watch Craig closely, Paul's going in with creating quite a lot of topspin on the ball. Craig is using that topspin to his advantage. He's not necessarily going back of a big long swing here. He's keeping his action really short, compact, good use of forearm, keeping his head over the ball, keeping a good bat angle. If his bat angle was open, it's going to kick right off. So it's short and sharp, head over, and really using the forearm well to snap through. It's half long serve, spin up. Lovely, lovely feel of the ball. And I think like a common mistake with a forehand counter spin is people thinking they have to force it. Yeah, Craig's not forcing it. He's played a couple of great ones where he's not gone mad at it. He's not been erratic at it. He's kept his technique. He's kept his head in a good position. And he's used, like we said earlier, that spin that Paul's given him. And then he's given some good angles as a result, but he's not blocking that back. He is, you know, he is, he is trying to do something with the ball there. Craig is now um, serving half long into Paul's back end. Paul's working on his back end open up. Craig will come in with a back end counter spin now. Not a block, a back end counter spin. That's the theme, that's the focus. So spin up, and then Craig's looking to come in with that back end counter spin. Very, very difficult shot. You have to have good timing on the ball. You have to try and take it nice and early. Over the ball there, short and sharp. Good, excellent. Lovely. Craig is making that look easy because he's getting such good timing out in front of him. Yeah, and it's, that's such a hard, it's such a hard contact to do when you're taking that ball, where someone's giving you spin anyway, and you're trying to take that ball, you're coming over it and taking it really early in front of you. But that's a really important coaching point for the counter spin. You don't want to be counter spinning from the side of you here or behind you. You want your body in a good position, facing kind of where you want that ball to go potentially, and then keeping over it, short and sharp again. Same idea with a forehand, good use of forearm, good use of wrist, bat angle is so important, depending on how much spin they're giving you, coming right over the top of it. Nothing long, nothing erratic, just short, sharp, really compact. Really difficult shot though. And here is some footage of the participants of the training camp um, giving this exercise a go. First of all, starting with the forehand counter topspin. And I think one of the most challenging things about the forehand counter topspin is keeping the stroke short. It's so tempting to take that bigger backswing and have a bigger follow through and really trying to hit the ball hard. But as Stephen was saying in the, the training session, you know, you don't need a big swing. You can keep it a much shorter backswing, a much shorter follow through, take the ball earlier. And then when you take the ball earlier, you take time away from your opponent. Very effective. We now switch to the backhand counter topspin. So loop up, backhand counter. Um, and here's a couple of really nice examples. Really short stroke, short, fast, good use of form and wrist, 
excellent backhand counter topspins. I think the backhand counter topspins actually may be a little bit easier to do because our strokes on the backhand side are naturally a little bit shorter anyway. And we play the backhands in front of the ball, we have good sight of it, and it's, I think it's a little bit easier just to use your forearm and your wrist just to play those quick backhand counter topspins. And here's some footage of me practicing counter topspins with my robot. I've set the robot up so it's got lots of topspin. And I'm doing forehand counter topspin here. But as you can see, the stroke is still quite long. I've got more scope to shorten this stroke. Um, and that's something that I, I can do better, I think. Um, I, I was happier with the backhand counter topspin. I think this stroke's shorter, a little bit better use of just the... The forearm and the wrist um, and I found this a little bit easier to do so backhand not too bad forehand could do with shortening the stroke thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Stephen for sharing his tips on how to play effective counter top spins close to the table if you want to find out more about Stephen and his coaching services then go to Stephen's website at stephengertson.co.uk and thank you also to Brybar Table Tennis for sponsoring this video. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon so I'll see you then. Bye bye.